I did not remove that swatch. Whoopsie doodle. And did you hear that? Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I have got one new thing that I am super excited about. So one new thing, but other than that, it was mostly kind of like an old faithful kind of a week. You know, I went to Beautycon last weekend and a lot of times when I go to kind of like special events or special occasions, I like to use those kind of like never fail me kind of products and just like old faithful products. So I have some of those in my favorites this week. But like I said, I have one new thing that I'm also really excited about too. So kind of a little bit of a hodgepodge. So let's jump into it. So I did have my nails painted these two colors for Beautycon, but then I already picked it all off. So I'm no longer wearing them, but I like both of these polishes. Um, I was wearing this Zoya polish on most of my nails and then this Formula X polish on my ring fingers. So this is Zoya's Jaclyn and it's just a really pretty kind of like pale yellow it's really pretty had a nice formula pretty much a cream finish but then a little bit of like i don't know a really subtle white pearl to it it's really pretty and then this is formula x revved up i think i've talked about this before it's a really pretty rose gold color i thought it was kind of like a cool combo and i just felt like having an accent nail so i went with this one so mostly on my eyes this week my good old naked palette I love this palette. It's a go-to when I travel. It's a go-to for special occasions. It just works. I have it on my eyes today and I just love it. Um, I always pretty much wear naked and buck in my crease. I love sidecar and then I love sin. Um, and then I use dark horse. I am out of fingers. I use dark horse in my outer corner. I mean, it's awesome. This is like a fan favorite go-to for so many people for a reason. I've talked about this palette a lot on my channel and I still love it just as much. I mean, you know, I have a lot of makeup so it kind of gets forgotten in the rotation but it's always a favorite of mine, always. And every time I use it, I fall back in love with it again. So look at that pigmentation. It's just great. It's a never fail you palette. And with that on my lids, this is a never fail me shadow. I love this thing. If you get one of the L'Oreal Infallibles or several, this is one that I would start with. I say several because I love them. So I think you need Amber Rush. I think you need Bronze Taupe. This one's amazing. Did I already say what this is? Did I even tell you? I don't know. But this is Ice Latte and it's just gorgeous. You can wear it on your lids like I have today. I have it foiled um, or you can use it as a highlight. I did not remove that swatch. Whoopsie doodle. So... You can tell it's long wearing. Good old naked palette. Anyway, Ice Latte is just gorgeous. I mean, it is gorgeous. It's beautiful, just regular, but I mean, foiled, it's even more amazing. It just catches the light. Oh, it's metallic. It's like shimmery. It's drugstore, even better. It's so good. Yes, 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 yes. So, had to bring that with me. I wore it at Beautycon. I've worn it this week pretty much most every day and it's just awesome. And then I also threw these Makeup Peak products in this palette to take with me to Beautycon. These are really nice too. I did wear these with my Naked palette. So I mixed kind of some of these like sort of like grayish purpley sort of colors and they're really pretty. That one is Unexpected and this one is Vintage. They're just beautiful. I love Makeup Peak. And then I also will talk about this blush in a second. So anyway, I, did you hear that? I love Makeup Geek. I think they're so pretty and just good quality. They have so many color options. Yeah, and these are two of my favorites. And it really does pair nicely with kind of brown colors just because it adds like a little bit of I don't know, a romantic look to those brown shadows. So I used a little bit of Naked in my crease and then I used these colors and then I used Ice Latte on my lid. So just really pretty. Oh, and then I also wore this one. Which one is this one? It's the dark color, this like dark purpley color. Drama Queen, this one out in the corner, Drama Queen. This one is really pretty too. And it's just a gorgeous, 
a gorgeous dark purple color. Kind of like a dark eggplant or something. Amazing. So it's got like a little bit of a metallic sheen to it, but it's beautiful. Okay, so for blush, the main one that I wore this week is Clinique's Nude Pop. I know I've talked about this a lot on my channel. It's what I'm wearing right now. It's just a beautiful nude blush. I mean, it's a go with everything kind of color. It's very neutral. Um, it's not like it's a statement cheek. It's just, you know, it's good neutral. It's a nude pop. That really is what it is. It gives a nude pop on your cheeks. But you can see it has like a little bit of a warmth to it. Really pretty, has this kind of like subtle glow to it. I love it. I love the cheek pops. I've said that a bunch on my channel too. I think they're great. I think they are adorable to look at. I mean, such cute packaging. And I made a pretty good dent in this one because I love it so much. So I think they're adorable to look at, but they're really nice quality. They blend into the skin so nicely. They wear really well throughout the day. They're very forgiving in that they don't just stick and not move. They really do blend into the skin and they build up nicely. So they're kind of like hard to mess up blushes. So love them and Nude Pop is a great one to start with. I would say probably best to, suited for fair to medium skin tones because that's pretty built up and it's still not very dark and I'm really darn pale. So yeah, but it's just beautiful. I love it. And that Makeup Geek blush is head over heels. This is such a pretty pink. It is just like a very girly Barbie sort of a pink. I love it, but it, I don't know. It kind of reminds me of Max Just a Wisp in that it has that kind of like, I don't know, angelic sort of glow to it, but this one is definitely brighter than Just a Wisp. Just a Wisp is really more of almost like a blush highlight because it's so glowy, but this one has a little bit more color to it. But it's just pink and girly and sweet and cute and fun, and I love it pigmented, stays well on the cheeks. It's a great blush. Isn't that a pretty pink? So cute. On my lips this week, I broke out this adorable little baby Tarte Rainforest of the Sea lipstick, which I mentioned that one of the ones that I had ended up breaking. So this one has been fine. Of course, it's a little baby one, and you know I'm careful about how much I roll it up, but I would really recommend getting this little set. It came with this one and then one of the other like more sheer sort of glossy ones, which really doesn't have a lot of color, but for kind of a no makeup makeup look, that's perfect. So anyway, I like this little set. This is in Cabana Boy, and it is the prettiest kind of neutral mauve color. Oh my gosh. I love this. Is that not gorgeous? It is creamy, pigmented, opaque, I love this color. So, I don't know. I'm still deciding about these lipsticks. I mean, I don't know. I think it's like, they're just very delicate. Their delicate flowers is really kind of like my overall impression on them. I do think that they're really comfortable. They look really nice on the lips, most of them. I didn't like that bright pink that I ended up returning but the other two that I have, I think look really nice on the lips. So I think they look nice, they feel comfortable, but they're just really, really delicate. So you have to be kind of like careful with them so you don't break them. But like I said, this one I haven't had problems with and it's cute and little and little baby one and it has the cute like packaging. So I love Cabana Boy, wore it this week and just like fell in love with it. And then what I am most excited about this week is this lipstick. My sweet, amazing friend, Ashley, Texas Mommy of Boys, I talk about her all the time. She gave me a Tom Ford lipstick as like an early birthday present. My birthday is in April and at BeautyCon, she gave me this lipstick and I just, I'm like, what? Why are you giving me Tom Ford? Like it's too much and she just spoils me and I'm so excited about this lipstick. This is in the color First Time, and it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Oh my gosh, 
it's like so fancy. The packaging is just weighty and fancy and just gorgeous. This is the most beautiful peachy nude color. Oh my gosh. We need a moment of silence for that. It's incredible. Such a pretty color, so opaque, pretty much a matte but a really comfortable matte. I mean, it does really stick around on the lips for a good amount of time. I don't even know. I don't even know how to put into words. Not only how much I love this lipstick, it smells yummy too. Oh my gosh, it smells like MAC lipsticks. Yummy vanilla scent. I don't even know how to put it into words. How much I love this lipstick, how much I'm enjoying it, how much I love Ashley, and just, I don't even know. I don't know why she gives me Tom Ford, but I love it. Thank you, friend. I can't stop wearing this. And no fooies this week, just all things that I was loving. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this week, or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!